that is just out of control. Nice and clean now though. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you're notified each time we upload a video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Darius at Plumdog. Something we get a lot of interest in is the videos we've got online about storage hot water systems, ones that have lost pressure or are making like a popping or a kettling sound. Uh, what that's sort of due to do with is the tanks themselves act, act like a giant trap. So any sort of sand, anything that's in the, the water supply, minerals, harsh water, that starts to come through, settle in the bottom of the tank. So normally we would service a heater around the four or five year mark, and sometimes we have to service them a bit sooner. Um, again, because of the, the sand or the, the environment, like the conditions that they're put through. Um, these are some of the anodes that we pulled out. So you can see there's nothing really left to this. And this is at the five year mark. That's not doing any anything for the storage hot water system. Now, obviously, if they get left in, in the hot water system, the system's not protected. It's probably going to fail within the eight to 12 year mark. These stellas are made really tough and they, they do take a bit more of a beating than some of the other systems that we've seen. But I'll get the top cover off in here. I'll show you what we're dealing with. toast that definitely needs to be replaced and you can see all the sand that's bonded to that that's exactly what I'm talking about and really when your anode sort of gets down about a hand's worth of bare wire it's time to change it you need a new one so the other part of the problem is that we need to get all of the sediment and everything out of the bottom of the tank and to do that what I'm going to do is bring in some high pressure water like you've seen us do before. And we're going to flush this tank out with our high pressure and you get to see what comes out of it. And I'm expecting there to be quite a lot of sand um, and sediment. It's just a little bit of calcium that's just come out straight away. So you can see just draining the tanks, not really enough. Okay, so on this one we're changing out the tempering valve as well. Um, tempering valve's obviously been affected by the sand and the, the sediment buildup that's in the tank. If you have a look at our bucket here, now the tank's finished draining down. It's pretty clean. We haven't got much sediment in there at all other than the initial sort of bits that just came out when we dropped the water. So we'll get the high pressure equipment set up, see what starts coming out of it then. And for those of you familiar with our channel, these are the high pressure water jetters that we run. You can see all about those in other videos that we've got up online, but it never gets old firing one of these up. guys so here we go we got an empty bucket all right we're just gonna let that let that high pressure run you see what starts to come out look instantly that is not clean Just doing my final flushes now. This is our bucket. You remember that was clean water when we dropped it just naturally by itself. Now we put the high pressure water in there. That's just like milk. That's magnesium, lime, 
calcium, all the nasty stuff. And look what's in the bottom. Nice thick layer of sand. Like I said, it's like trying to boil a kettle full of concrete. That poor water heater. That poor, poor water heater. Alright, see, so here we go, two new anodes. They look much nicer, don't they? Just drop those in as best we can, one handed. Two new anodes. Wah, ah, ah, ah. I'm really glad that I got to put this all together for you guys on this one. Um, really does show how much sand can sort of build up in these units over time. Um, like I said, it is becoming a bit of a problem for us. I'm doing more and more of these now than I was three, four years ago. Um, we're getting a lot of interest, like I said, on the channel about the, the storage hot water systems. So if you've got any problems, feel free to reach out to us. And I'll see you next time, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.